Hello, we have a, a mission going to Europa, one of the moons of Jupiter, and it is covered with frozen water and scientists are sure that there's liquid water underneath. I'm just wondering what you think we might find there. Do you really feel that there's the possibility of life in the liquid water un underneath Europa's frozen surface? Well, Mr. Tui, this is a very good question. Uh, since scientists have been wondering what's going on in Europa for a long time, uh, whether there's life there is a nagging question for us. Europa is very far away from the sun, so it's a very cold object. So how can you get life uh, within that uh, moon? The thing is that Europa is being sort of torn apart. There are shears within it, in the sense there's Jupiter pulling from one side and the other moons of Jupiter pulling from the other side, which implies there are some shears within the moon, making so that the temperature is higher than it was than it's supposed to be because it's so far from the sun. So that's why when you look at the pictures of Europa, you see brownish sort of streaks across the surface. So it's those shears which cause seismic activities, which makes the water inside come out, and dirty water indeed, since it's brownish. Well, obviously, it's hot enough for the water to be liquid. So there could be life there. The Europa mission will not be able to detect life directly. The idea is to detect COPS. Well, that's an acronym, of course. So it's carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphor, and sulfur. If we can find those basic elements, well, clues are it's possible. And we'll go back there to make sure. Well, as you can see, Mr. Tui, Science can answer a lot of different questions.